things. Buying presents for other people is always much better going to a shop because you can look at it, you can look at it, you can walk around and, 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 and make your mind up. I just come back to the fact that these Christmas ads are like a fantasy world that disguise the fact that over the next four weeks, we're all going to spend money we haven't got and loads of kids are going to pressure their parents into buying stuff they don't need. And certainly my generation have got more than enough stuff. Every <laughs> peak stuff. <laughs> it's interesting after you spend all of that money on an ad whether you want to go to that actual store because no, of No, this does is that the actually, thing. Does it work? It's as much as you say they're spending money and they're brainwashing me. The, I've already, I've always loved Christmas, whether yeah. they've brainwashed me or not. But actually, it doesn't make me want to go and buy an M&S turkey. I'll go anywhere from Turkey. <laughs> uh, genuinely, it doesn't entice me to go to that specific store. It just makes that whole feeling a bit more real for me. And I think it's the feeling of Christmas I enjoy more than any of the stuff. It's just the family feeling and yeah. that everything's glittery <laughs> and happy <laughs> and people sing songs. Yes, Janet. When do you put my tree up? up? <laughs> when do I put my tree up? Well, I told you earlier in the year that last year, for the very first time, I put up a self-assembly tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not boasting, and my <laughs> IQ makes more than double figures, but that tree took two hours out of my life. I'm never going to that. <laughs> so you should have left it out for this year. <laughs> you should have let Stacey's children come round. They'd have done it in no time. Can I change the subject?